Yo guys, it's Clay here, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the M16. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 40 likes. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it, and it helps out the video a bunch. Now let's get straight into the attachments. For the barrel, I'm going to be using the 11.5 inch carbine shroud barrel. It adds hip recoil control, recoil control, aim down sight speed, and bullet velocity. I usually go with aim down sight speed on a lot of my uh, attachments. But this adds aim down sight speed and bullet velocity, which is even better for me. Now, with that being said, I feel like the recoil steadiness is more important over the aim walking speed. So I went ahead and added 0.25 inches or 0.25 pounds to the weight just to give it more recoil steadiness. And on the bottom, you can see I added all the way to 0.40 inches on the damage range. And with the damage range, I think it... It struggles a lot on the M16, so I went ahead and bumped it all the way up to 0.40 inches on the length. For the underbarrel, I'm going to be using the FTAC Ripper 56. It adds aiming idle stability, hip fire accuracy, and recoil stabilization. And with the tuning, you're going to want to put it on 0.45 ounces for the weight to add aim down sight speed and 0.20 inches to the length to add aiming idle stability. On the magazine, I'm using the 45 round mag. I'm pretty sure it is... 30 rounds yeah it is 30 rounds so we're going to use the 45 round mag on the rear grip i'm using the x10 grip to add sprint to fire speed aim down sight speed and for the tuning i'm going to go ahead and put it on all the way down to the aim down sight speed and all the way over to the sprint to fire speed on the stock i'm using the ravage 8 stock add sprint speed aim walking speed crouch movement speed and aim down sight speed and for that, I'm going to go ahead and bump it all the way down to the aim down sight speed and all the way over to the aiming idle stability. If you guys try this class setup out, let me know what you think of it down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're going to be checking out the M16. You might not believe me, but this gun is actually way better in single fire, in my opinion. My game is a little bit laggy, I don't know why. What? I don't know why I have to deal with this today. Just trying to record my videos and level up guns. I can't let that dude near me. Because all he's going to do is just punch me. You could switch the M16 like around if you want. Why is everybody using an RPG? I have a advance. I don't really like the M16 whenever it's in burst unless I'm like up close. No, buddy, you're not getting close to me. Yeah, teammates, you're right there. Right. Watch this.
I don't think he knows what he's doing. What is he doing? I don't think he knows he can. You have to literally hold that thing down. I'm trying to go for like 50 kills. Sounds like a tank. Are you chasing me? Yeah, of course. I, got, I forgot I got tagged. That thing is annoying. Teammates are not going to jump off the hill for a little bit. I knew there was one more, but I just didn't know how to play it. The game's about to end before I get 50 kills. I'm gonna try to run over to the hard point. No, teammate, you don't have to get on there. Alright, 62 kills, GG's. Damn.